Welcome back. In previous lesson, we learned how to create a task to reload a document. In this lesson, we'll focus on loop and reduce functionality that comes with ClickView Publisher. We have already created tasks for A to Z food sales application. So let's navigate to the reduce tab and quickly review some of the options that are available for loop and reduce functionality. As you see, reduction can occur based on a bookmark or a field value. Then within the field value reduction option, we can perform a simple reduce, meaning once the fields are listed, we can select a particular field and specific values for that field and then reduce the document only for those specific values. And then the third option is loop and reduce by field value. If this option is selected, ClickView will go through list of values for a specific field and then create instance for each of the field value. So first let's go over an example to reduce document by a bookmark. That said, I'm going to open ClickView desktop and I will create a bookmark. So let's clear the screen right now. We will create a bookmark containing beverages as a product category. And then we'll simply save this bookmark. Okay, so that bookmarks now in the document and we'll save this document. Now at this point, we will switch back to QMC and click on the open document button. What this will do is it will execute a QBB click view batch file behind the scene and open the document and retrieve all the fields within the document. So as you see now we have a list of fields available, but we are not looking at simple reduction yet. We will only focus on reduction by bookmark. As soon as I select on reduction by bookmark, I can select a bookmark from the drop down list. In this case, I will select beverages. And then I also would like to change the name of this document to add the bookmark postfix to it. So if you click on the pencil icon next to the name template, you do see this dialog box. In this, we will select beverages and OK. And as you see in the bottom, it shows document name and document bookmark, comma, beverages. When ClickView task runs, it will reduce the entire document by the selections that we made in that specific bookmark. In that case, it's beverages as category. And then we'll create an instance of that document and publish it on the access point. Also, in the distribution, we can loop and distribute this document to a specific person or group. For now, we'll still keep just the manual distribution to name user, and it will be distributed to John. So let's now switch back to the status tab, and we'll rerun the task for the document. Okay, so the reload completed. Now we will go to the access point and refresh the access point. As you see, we have a new instance of A to Z food sales with beverages category available. So if I click on this document, I only have one category as opposed to multiple categories available in the original document. So this is the original document with multiple categories, whereas the reduced document only has one category. So this is how you can reduce a document for a specific bookmark. Now let's get back to QMC and explore data reduction by a field value. So we'll select the same task. We'll go to reduce tab in Instead of selecting reduce by bookmark, we'll select reduce by field value. I'll click on open document again. So I do have list of values. In this, I will select customer country. And I will select USA, UK, and Switzerland from list of countries. 
So these are the three values that I've selected for customer country. And as you see in the selected field, it shows customer country and the values of Switzerland, UK, USA. So when the job runs, it will reduce this document for this three values. And let's also change the document name to include customer country and remove the bookmark. So we'll click OK. And as you see at the bottom now, we have source document name plus document field value equal to customer country. We will save this and reload the task. And the task completed. So let's get back to the access point and make sure that the document exists for each of the country. And if I clear this value, I have Switzerland, UK, and USA. Now let's look at the last option, and that is loop and reduce by a field. We'll remove this name, click on open document, all fields are populated. We'll select salesperson as a field to reduce the documents. So click we will create a new document for each value within salesperson field. So let's click create look at that document on the desktop and it has multiple salespeople. So a document will be created for each of this salespeople. All right, so let's change the name of the document by selecting salesperson field from the drop down list and click OK. As you see at the bottom, it has source document name and the field salesperson. Click OK and apply. Now we'll go back and rerun this task. So task just got completed. Let's go back to the access point and refresh it. And as you see, now we have a copy of the same document for each salesperson. So let's click on the one with Andrew Fuller as the salesperson. Quickly, we can add a new sheet object. In this case, we'll add a text box and we'll display salesperson field in this text box. So hit OK and close it. And as you see, the salesperson is Andrew Fuller. So let's get back to the loop and reduce tab again, and we'll quickly review what we learned. We can reduce a document by a bookmark or by a field. When we reduce by a field, we can reduce document by simple reduce, meaning we can select a field and specific values and document will be reduced for those values. As shown here, the document is being reduced by customer country and this three values. We can also perform loop and reduce by a field value. In this case, we selected salesperson. So a copy of document gets created for each salesperson within this field. So this was a quick overview of loop and reduce functionality within QMC. In the next lecture, we'll go over EDX trigger. Thank you for watching.